Hello darlings and welcome to this pick a pile reading. It's going to be about um, is this relationship with this person whether it's love or anything else going to sort itself out yes or no and what are the implications and reasons. So please tune in to your higher self again if you could gently touch on your karate chop point or just simply Touch it, tap it, however you like to do it. Tune into your higher self. Focus on pile number one, two, and three. And just speak with your heart center rather than your fear-based brain. Because it's fear-based when it's not connected to your heart center. Which is the case for most people today. Which is why we have all the problems we have. And... Once you're ready and you've picked your pile, then we can start the reading. Please stop the video if you're not ready once I'm done drawing the cards. And we're going to start from pile number one. All right. So here we go. All right. So pile number one, you get the full, you get seven of wands and the three of coins. So if we are looking at chakras, since today we are doing chakras, you get the root chakra, then right here you get the um, crown chakra, and here you get the solar plexus. All right. So the fool, what does the fool say, guys? Is the adventure begins. What is the keywords? What are the keywords for the fool? Beginning, journey, risk, naivety, starting afresh, uh, newness, bravery. So what is the uh, indication here? Huh? Is, well, the first chakra card reveals our arrival with the beliefs, challenges, and natural characteristics we receive from our genes. And so fits nicely into the grounding aspect of the root chakra. Our roots are where we source our life form. Transplant your roots, change your life. So the indication here is rooted in beliefs that you will need to break free from. Family restrictions, choosing a new route in life. So this is what this card is telling you to do. Just look ahead and choose something different. Just because your family did it that way doesn't mean you have to. Then you got the seven of wands and that's your crown chakra so this is the path of indomitable strength indication is the extraordinary extraordinary vision requires universal support feminine power offers the confidence of support and indicates a summoning from the universal consciousness the keywords here are resolve faith forcefulness leadership harassment and gossip okay so the chakra message here is our things are happening that you do not yet see. Cultivate an unrelenting commitment to rise above obstacles. Hold strong and focus on your outcome. That's right. Maybe currently you're dealing with someone in your relationship who's being unreasonable and they're just going through a hard time and they're being horrible to you. Hold in your heart what is the outcome that you wish for, but also realize you're not the only one who is part of this equation. And just learn to go with the flow and not give up just because it seems so bad right now. Because I've seen things turn around when you would have never thought. So, The third card, the three of coins, is the card of creative study. So this card is telling you that if what you desire has been done before, then the path forward exists for you too. So the keywords here are plans, growth, mentorship, dedication, promotion, craftsmanship. So the master artist, this is the chakra message says that wait your turn, get more training, know you can do better. This card may indicate a worthwhile collaboration. So the number three is always number of collaboration. Again, don't give up just because someone told you no the first time. Hang in there and keep going because you may just be very close to your outcome. All right, so let's go to reading number two, guys. We have the Knight of Coins, the Four of Swords, and the Chariot. So we are back. Here is the uh, Throat Chakra. 
which is the fifth chakra. Then you have the heart chakra, which is the fourth chakra. And you have the root chakra, which is the first chakra. So the knight of coins, the knight of co knights are always about taking actions. They like to take actions, the knights. Eh? So the knight of coins says that the card of focused intention, this is what this card is. So what does it say, this card? The chakra message is what the universe receives from you will bring what you energetically ask for. No more, no less. So the indication is, is that you can never become what you hate or dislike. If you hate wealthy people, you will never be one of them. The keyword here is lucrative, skillful, conscientious, honorable, profitable, and sustainability and unwavering. So if you want money, don't hate money. And if you hate money, tap on it. I know I had that problem before. And guess what? Tapping does work, guys. So it's not a miracle cure. It's definitely um, um, a little, you know, trip that we take. The Four of Swords is the card of solitary preparation, interestingly enough. So the chakra message is what predated this card may have been frustration over circumstances outside your control. Are you being turned down for something that you don't deeply desire and pretending that you never get what you want? The indication here is it may not be procrastination. Your heart may be preventing you from pursuing what is not right for you. The keywords here are respite, meditation, contemplation, rest, retreat, recovery. Listen to your own real heart. So tap it out until you're not in doubt anymore. And as far as the chariots go, the chariot is the number seven in the major arcana. And it's the full begins her life. So the first chakra message here is the shadow emerges here in this revisiting of the first chakra the fool no longer deeply rooted in is free there is a sense of security when you are feeling grounded in what you're bringing into form creating a new foundation no longer tied to the past means stepping out and creating your own platform you are ready whether you take a risk or not is a choice of yours indication here is rooted in belief that you will need to break free from family restrictions, choosing a new route in life, and allowing your shadow to emerge. The keywords are ally, forgiving, forging ahead, risk, starting over, not knowing where help is coming from, staying open. The chariot usually means you have the strength to go through it. So pay attention to those chakras. Make sure that you ground yourself because grounding is always the first step. And how do you ground? Tap on your karate chop point, as I always do show you to do so number three remember it's a choice number three you got the devil the four of wands and the lovers interesting combination so we got the second chakra the sacral we got the fourth chakra again which is the four of wands another four interestingly enough and then you got the six the lovers the major arcana so interestingly enough here guys we have second chakra fourth chakra and again we have the crown chakra over there so what does the devil say it's not always as bad as you think by the way the devil's card but you know it's got bad rap like the death card so devil's, the devil's card say is a fool seeing her shadow so the second chakra message here is here is a chakra indication that the message being sent may not be the one being received. Knowing what our shadow is, there really is no need to fear this card. There is no harm in making a choice that may be questionable, as long as, of course, you correct as soon you correct the course as soon as it hits your awareness. The time to look at your motives is now. The indication here is that the hidden forces within us do not define us. While it may feel that, op that options are limited right now, what if they are not? The keywords here are lower vibration, competitiveness, jealousy, self-deception, violence, cheating, and shortcuts. So stay true to who you are. Look what's really there. Tap through it. You can go negative, positive, as much as you want. The most important thing is that we are actually focusing on being truthful to ourselves. 
Then we get the Four of Wands. We go back into the Heart Center. The Four of Wands is the card of the Heart's Joy. So the chakra message here is Wands in the fourth chakra indicate a coming bloom. The excitement is related to something good. And while you're ready, preparing your heart to be open to joy is necessary. The indication is how good will you allow things to get in your life. And the keywords are homecoming, reunion, anticipation, expansion, and awakening. Then, of course, you got the lover's card, which is, doesn't always mean love. The six is also the number of choice. But this card, specifically, the fool discovers the delicious pleasure of desire. So the seventh chakra message here is... In the fool's first visit to a seventh chakra card, we wonder if she has learned of real love or only dreamt of it. Does it matter? Her connection to the universal consciousness has always been there. She sends this message to create the world, the union, the partnership, the pain, pleasure she seeks. The keyword here are clarity, enlightenment, knowing cosmic consciousness and union. And again, what is important here, guys, to realize is that even if you are in low vibration, it doesn't mean you are not high frequency. It doesn't mean you cannot change where you are. And it doesn't mean that you are not going to be successful in getting what you want. It just means that you need to be more truthful to yourself, see what's really there, accept where you are, honor it, and then the situation will evolve in what's really meant to be. So don't despair quite yet. Pay attention to the chakras that may need your attention right now. And just remember that when we work with chakras, they all work together. So one may be blocked, the other not. But ultimately, they all affect each other. So we work as a whole, not as a one little thing. So try and work through your issues as a whole, not as just one little thing. Thing. It is extremely important to realize that in life, it's not about just one step. It's about all the steps that we take together. And so one after the other, sometimes together. But it's a communion of all the things we do together that will give us the outcome, not that one thing. So if we make a mistake and we learn from the mistake, it's a lesson. If we keep repeating the same mistakes, it's a lesson we are not learning. And that becomes a habit. So changing habit is a lot harder than changing that one time we make the mistake. Now, if we don't accept where we are and we don't love ourselves, we cannot move forward. And so that's always the first step. So take all of this with a grain of salt. If you like what you see and you think it's helping in any way, shape or form, please consider subscribing, liking, and of course sharing with someone who also may need this content. Because anything you do to help the channels will be very, very, very appreciated. I hope to find you happy and healthy in the next video. And until then, I wish you the best week. Bye for now.